Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good today. I played with Gotham Chess, who is the number one chess YouTuber and a chess streamer, but can he defeat me? Above that, I sacrificed my queen for a knight against him, so let's go. I started with e4, Gotham played c5, knight f3, and he chooses to play e6, which is called French variation of Sicilian defense. Sicilian defense is a very tricky opening, knight c3 and Levy played a6, this a6 and e6 pawn wants to strike in the center with b5 and d5, so I strike the center with d4 first, pawn takes knight takes d5 knight to c6 and I played a3 to protect that square from any incoming attacks. Levy played queen b6 to target the knight and add pressure to this pawn but it's not the right move, best was to play queen c7, queen b6 is wrong because of bishop e3, it's x-ring to the queen and if you dare to take the pawn on b2, let me show you the variation, then knight a4 will kill your queen, the queen have no square to run, that means that you will lose the queen and the game, so back to the position. Levy considered to play bishop c5 to block the bishop attack but there is savage move knight a4, chess is very sweet, look at this tasty desert, we have queen a5 check, b4, whether you can save the queen or the bishop, so he has to play queen takes knight, pawn takes, queen a5 check queen blocks queen takes c5, that's a idiotic move like his idiotic intelligence, best was to take the queen because after knight b5. Its targets to the queen and the knight is supported so queen e5 to protect the square from the knight, that's why I played knight d6 check, king here c3, to block the diagonal, Gotham played b5, you no need to develop your queen side, you need to develop your king side for the king's safety and use the rook, bishop e2 and f4 is coming so we have queen f6, castle and here best move is to play h4, develop your pawn structure and active your pieces but he thinks he is smarter than stockfish. He played knight a5 with an idea to fork the queen and rook, that's a childlike move. I am not a big YouTuber like him but at least I have IQ, bishop c5 with an idea of 10,000 LO performance tactics, he played knight b5 to fork my queen, rook and bishop, you know, I will win the game with clear cut vision but, that will not be interesting, so I played rook d1 to sacrifice the queen away, First let me show you the top engine lines, here best move is to play queen e3. Sacrificing the rook to Levy Rossman as he says, THE rook! Then knight takes c8 discover check, king e8 knight d6 check king here e5 queen here queen f3 rook here knight takes check king c8 bishop d6, and that's it, the aim will be over for Gotham chess. If you try to save the rook for example rook b6 then the killer move will come queen a8 check, it will be checkmate and the game will be over, so back to the position, in this position, if you say, what about knight takes bishop, then queen takes c5 will come, g6 to create breathing room for the king, knight takes check, king here knight back to d6 and count the pieces, I have an extra bishop and the game would be in my flavor, but that would be not interesting, so in this position I decided to play rook d1 to give him my queen away, now he get a chance to make this game draw, Levy takes the queen, knight takes e8 check to the king so he blocks it with d6 and he free up some space, the d6 pawn can't be taken by any of your pieces because after bishop takes d6, king here e5 queen f4. To protect the knight, knight b6 knight e4 knight takes rook queen takes, king here queen takes bishop and that's it, he will win the game completely, and my pieces are worthless, they will not able to make a single threat to the king, so back to the position, if he is a smart guy in chess, then I am super ultra legendary ultimate max genius brilliant guy in chess, I played e5, he can't take this pawn because it's pinned and also, he can't take the bishop because of this. And the knight is also under attack, so he played queen f4, pawn takes d6 and d7 is coming with a discover check, which will be a checkmate after couple of moves so he played king e8 remembering my name, bishop e3 queen e5 rook, takes d2 and my pieces are well protected and I am going to win the game, don't believe in the analysis bar because analysis bar is for genius type of computers and robots, not for the dumb and donkey brain human species. So knight f6 bishop to d4 queen f5 knight e7 to target the queen, queen f4 bishop e3, my position is now better, because of this knight, dark square bishop move and the queen move makes my position clear and advanced, 
what about Levy Rossman's position? His position is about the same as it was three moves ago, queen e5 bishop f3 to get access to the diagonal and under vip diagonal, here he played queen takes c3 to target the rook, rook d1 rook d8 knight goes to c6, this targets to the rook and you know what, what is the best move here, here best move is to play king d7, sacrificing the rook away but we will play bishop d4 first to remove the queen position, then black would play queen takes, c6 which is the best move, bishop takes king takes. Rook check here rook c7 check and after some moves later we will get this position where white will get little advantages, but in this position, he played rook d7, try to save the rook, it's a mistake move because after rook d3 queen c2, knight b4, the diagonal gets clear and this targets to the queen, position will be dead lost, count your remaining days, queen a4 bishop c6, my piece's combination is totally good and pure, the queen is a liability for black. Ok we have rook f8 rook c1 and my tactic is to play bishop b6 to occupy the diagonal, after takes, king takes d7 rook check king backs, and the position will be plus 11, maybe it will be a checkmate, so we have knight d5, knight takes takes bishop to b6, queen e4 and bishop takes d5, if you dare to take the rook, queen takes d3 then rook will come to check you. Blocks and after rook takes rook it will be checkmated, so back to the position we have rook takes pawn, bishop takes e4, rook takes rook to c7 a5 bishop f5, there is a tactics to kick the king into mud, so rook blocks on e6 bishop takes, takes rook to d7 and it will be checkmate in few moves because the rook can't help. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.